Hi, today we're going to build a custom audio player in Waste, Webflow, and Xano that works fully natively across all devices and browsers and doesn't have any glitchiness to it, uh, like all those other alternatives. And it works fully dynamic with your database of choice. So let's look into this. Isn't that amazing? So now you can create um, a audio player for voice messages, audiobooks, music, background music, whatever your heart desires and whatever your project requires, it is possible. And it is possible in less than six actions and can be set up in less than six minutes as well. So let's get right started into the setup first into Webflow because this is one of the first audio players and the first one that works with WIST, which can be customized and styled however you want. Um, so just so that you are aware of it, we will have custom attributes from custom code for the WIST skeleton. And this is not a skeleton that is action based. This is a skeleton that is just time based, just uh, 100, uh, 1300 um, milliseconds. Then we have some attributes here, TM plier. Um, this is not something that you need to customize. This is just an attribute that will help the script that will run in a run function to know, okay, this is the pause component. This is the start component, right? This is just so that the code that works on the back end can understand what component is intended to do what. Um, so that's it. And yeah, we have them across the play buttons as well, but they are not important. Just please ignore them. But you can customize and style those. Then we have those attributes in here to set the text, or in this case, set the cover image, uh, set the text, and set the name of the band. And the way this is working is we have this custom code in WIST. So let's go to WIST real quick into the actions. And we have in the system action folder, first of all, we are loading the song um, using a query parameter. So we're setting song Aquarius. And then we're doing a request, this request, that will call the database, this one, and it will say, hey, here's the Slack and that is Aquarius, please give me the record that uh, matches with this uh, ID. And then what we're getting returned is this object that contains the files and all the information. And yeah, we play it. And yeah, so we're loading this. Now, after we loaded that, and this is where it gets a bit tricky, we're setting a text field that you cannot see right now. So we're setting a text field to the URL of the file. And my camera may get glitchy because what we're doing here requires a lot of bandwidth and I'm recording this on a MacBook Air. So <laughs> excuse me for that. Um, but we're getting this link and this link itself, you could copy that. It's a Xano link. And yeah, you would be able to, to play this. But this doesn't look good and this cannot get styled this in embed, right? So we're getting this link. We're setting it in a hidden text field. And this hidden text field is this one. It's saying track URL. And we're using the WIST attribute of audio file link to set the text in here. Right now, there's nothing in here and this is intended. Then we have the TM player media um, attribute with the value of audio URL. So the script working on the backend in the code repository will know, okay, this text field, field which has set this URL, this is the URL we need to load the data from, the MP3 file in this case, and this will be where the music will come from. So we're taking that 
And now we're moving into the funny part. We're moving into the loading of the, yeah, of the code repository. If you want to look how the code is working, um, you can just copy this URL, paste it into a new tab. You will see the licenses and all of that. You don't have to touch this code if you don't feel comfortable touching that. It is already pre-built to work that way. Um, yeah, and then we're just loading that. Very important, just so that you know, we cannot load this from the beginning. We cannot do this on page load because if we load this and the player HTML, uh, uh, sorry, the player text is not set to the URL yet, it will load it for an empty string and therefore not get any audio file and not reload it. So we are only initiating this script after the request of get song finishes because we know after the request get song finishes we have the url in here already set and after we have the url set in the hidden text field then we can initiate the javascript library um, a bit like a finsuite attribute thing kind of thing and um, to take this from the text field and to load the data for the audio player so that's a bit a little workaround um, yeah, but that's how it's working. This is the system. And now we have the content folder. By the way, somebody asked how I folder my things. This is how I folder it. Uh, the, this item has its own folder, audio player. We have system. This is all the technology, API calls. And then we have content. This is just the basic content. Yeah, and then we're just setting the content, the text, using set text or set image. That's very simple. There are enough videos about that. But yeah, that's it. It's very simple and you can customize and style the audio player however you like. And just for the last 10 seconds of this video, let's just enjoy, enjoy the rest of this magnificent song. So thank you so much for watching and please let me know if there are any questions about this or if you have any ideas for any further videos and do you want a video player or what's the next thing that you want? I am excited to build complicated things that nobody already uh, trusted themselves to touch that already. Um, I just want to build the complicated stuff so that you don't have to. So just please give me ideas and thank you so much for watching and I'm excited to uh, meet you in the comments. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.